adapt. Welcome to the Kobe system. You got awards, rings, ribbons, filet mignon. In the Kobe system. You got a devastating crossover, secret dance moves, flying cars. The Kobe system. You can do rad skateboard tricks. People laugh at your jokes. The Kobe system. The Kobe system. You're at the top, the very top, and you don't need anyone's advice. That's how I know you need mine. This is the Kobe system. You're at the top of your games. Where do you go from the top? You go over the top. Powerful stuff. The Kobe system is about adaptation, attacking fast and strong. Any questions? What if you're really successful? He makes a good point. You're welcome. And that is why you always keep your defense offensive. What's up, fam? Oh, sorry, Kobe. It's, uh, it's texting a friend of mine about getting some pizza later. I thought there was going to be refreshments. It's catering. There's nothing. So I got to set up this whole pizza situation. Aziz Ansari, I was once like you. You were? Being the same animal, attacking fast all the time. Then I became a different animal. I learned to attack strong. You can be like me, Aziz Ansari. Really, Kobe Bryant? No. Adaptation is not about reaction. The dinosaurs reacted. The meteor adapted. The meteor won. Is that clear, Serena? Not really. What does it have to do with my backhand? Please watch. You're welcome. What is this? No, it's a system. It can attack both fast and strong. What is this? Shayu. No, it's a system. It can attack both fast and strong. What is this? Itaotishi. No, it's a multi-talented Chinese megastar. But it's a Chinese megastar who will be a system by the time we're through. Explosiveness is not a matter of fast or strong. Explosiveness is a matter of fast and strong. Tony Robbins, this is your last question. Listen, I'd just like to add what Mr. Bryant was saying here because about explosiveness, if you really want to change your life, then you've got to take massive action. You've got to immerse yourself. You've got to really understand that problems are really your gifts. Are you done? Yes, sir. Apologize to Kanye West for wasting two million dollars of his time. I'm sorry, Kanye. Sorry, Serena. Guys. Moving on. When you 
dominate the game early, you should also dominate it late. Jerry Rice, I think you have a question. Not really. Yes, you do. You're wondering how to dominate your sport again. But I'm retired. Dominate retirement. I don't get what he's saying. Shh, just pay attention. Please refer to level five of the Kobe system for a complete list of things to dominate. Dominate the paint. Dominate art. Dominate breakfast. Dominate the crossover. Dominate karate. Dominate the galaxy. Dominate waffles. Dominate weather. Dominate rim sleep. Dominate music. Dominate aliens. Dominate books on tape. Dominate press conferences. Dominate the sun. Dominate kick flips. Dominate ninjas. How much more do you want from me? More. How much more successful do you want me to be? More successful. How many records can my records break? More records. But, but I'm the best. But are you a different animal and the same beast? What the f does that mean, Kobe Bryant? You're welcome. What the f is he talking about? I've uh, successfully gone to the bottom of the ocean. Mm, me too. And I've successfully gone to outer space. Ditto. I feel like I'm already living success at success. You're welcome. Right. I I'm just wondering what's left. Richard Branson, you have achieved success at success. But have you achieved success at success at success? No. No, I haven't. I'm sorry, Kobe Bryant. You can do better. I know you can. Good luck to you, Richard Branson. Make me proud. Here we are. This is, a, this is going to be an inside look and in the process um, that we utilize to come up with some of the products that you see on the table right now. I am known as Black Mamba Inspirational Person, something like that. And he is known as the Big Brain. He's the guy that I throw all these crazy ideas at and him and his team put it all in the pot in the Nike kitchen, mix it up, and voila, out pops these shoes and product and all kinds of good stuff so not too many people get a chance to kind of look behind the scenes we're kind of pulling the curtain back so hope you enjoy you asked me what i thought good design was and i uh, i said to you i quoted leonardo da vinci which oh, we've yeah. we've used a few times going yeah. back and forth and uh, one of my favorite quotes from him was uh um you know good design is the perfect balance between science and art Remember that? I do remember yeah. that. Yeah. You know, I asked you that because I wanted to know. I, obviously, I was extremely familiar with the, your work, but I wanted to know how you got to that point and how things became culture. You know, shoes became culture. In our case, turning a system into culture. But it was, uh, it was fascinating for me to hear that. You immediately broke it down to a performance level of what you were looking for. Mm -hmm. It's very easy for me to do that because you get it. You know what I mean? There's a lot of things that we share, uh, that we enjoy, whether it's, you know, programs we watch on TV or yeah. movies or whatever. Yes. Yeah, it's the same. We have the same things in common, so we, under we speak the same language. So it's very easy for me to do that. Um, but if you're going to be on your feet, you need to have something that's going to actually help enhance your game. It's not something that's just, that you're just putting on your foot just to run around. I want things that are very detail-oriented and meticulously placed in the shoe that I feel gives me an advantage. And, and you picked up on that right away. And uh, I've kind of been off and running ever since. Yeah, right? <laughs> Each time we meet, it's, it's like a different challenge of how you want 
to move performance. Um, you know, like, I want the lowest, lightest weight shoe of all time. Yeah, I remember the, the, the meeting we had when we decided to do a, a low cut shoe. That was an interesting day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and everybody kind of looked like, you know, mm -hmm. I was sitting there with like three heads or something. Yeah, you know, I said, wow, you know, that's going to be a change for the market. You want to show the world that um, you could play in low tops right. and that it was time for a change, a revolution. The concept of the Predator kind of comes from, uh, the idea came from a, a trip that I took to South Africa. And our guy is driving us around. And he's showing us like these animals, it's like, like a gazelle and like, I want to see predators. And it kind of clicked, it was like, well, you know, this is kind of, you know, what I do in my profession. You, you gotta you know, hunt or be hunted. You gotta go after something. So I said, you know, I want to really incorporate that in the line. You know, if you see a person wearing the shoe, it, it tells you something about that person. Yeah about what's inside of them, the engine that they have inside yeah. of them. We took inspiration from looking at shark skin, at snake skin, and also the pattern of, of a leopard. Yeah. We kind of fused all of those together. And that's kind of how we came up with, um, you know, this, this pattern, right? Which is it's crazy. Kobe, yeah. This Kobe skin, you know? Yes. I, 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 I gave that. the inspiration and stuff, yeah. but then you took it to like, you know, you took it someplace else by yeah. coming up with its own yeah. skin, its yeah. own print, by combining, yeah. you know, the predators that, you know, really inspired me. I mean, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have something that was a little softer, something that kind of protects you and kind of aids your recovery process. And then when it's time, go to something that's a little thinner, quicker well, to lower, the ground, a little, a little more lower. responsive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so that's where the idea kind of came from. The first midsole that we have is um, what we refer to as play fast or attack fast. And this incorporates two zoom bags, one in the heel, one in the forefoot, which gives Kobe low profile cushioning, but very responsive cushioning. The other drop in we're referring to as attack strong is comprised of more of a lunar foam, which is a little softer and will give him a little more cushioning, a little more protection from the explosive movements that, that he does. When you start with the low cuts, that was like the beginning, right? Of kind yeah. of, and then now here we are with the system. So we don't make shoes anymore, we make systems. Yeah. And, which is cool. And you want people to have an option. You want to, you want to give them a choice of you know, what they're working with. Yeah. And going forward, it's going to, you know, it's going to be even crazy. So it's time to put the system to work, so to speak. So hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, look forward to catching up with you on the next system.